Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how um, I was able to go around the issue that we're having right now with the Battle.net launcher on the Steam Deck and uh, still be able to play the Blizzard games that you want through game mode in the Steam Deck. So um, the way that I'm going to show you is if you don't already have the game loaded on the Steam Deck, you can't get it to the battle.net launcher to even start so that you can download the games on the steam deck you will need to go through your pc in order to get the game so i'm just going to show that real quick um but if you already have that on there you can kind of jump forward a little bit past the install so so real quick I'm, i already have world of warcraft classic on the steam deck so i'm just going to show you with hearthstone or hearthstone um if you don't know where that is located on your pc you can go down here and go to game settings and then find out where that is. You can copy that over. So what you want to do is you want to actually go find the folder on your PC with that game. So we'll go there and find Hearthstone. And it is in the program files. 86 is where mine is. You may have saved it somewhere else, but I think that's the default. So what you need to do is you actually need to copy this entire folder over to a flash drive. So I'm just going to put it on a removable drive here. Once you paste it here, it's probably going to take a while, depending on how big the game is. I mean, Hearthstone's only, what, 7 gigs. Um, yours may write faster than this, but... Uh, so what you need to do is you need to move the whole folder over there. And then, once you do that, you're going to connect that to the Steam Deck. So I'll let this load, and then we'll jump over into the Steam Deck. Alright, now that we've got that downloaded... What we want to do is put in our, our flash drive. Now I'm just using this little adapter here. You may have a dock or something like that. But this this is what has the the game on it. So that whole folder that we just downloaded, we just put on here. So I'm going to put that in the Steam Deck. Now we do have to go into desktop mode. So make sure that you're in desktop mode first. And you should have that register. And there it is. Okay, so we're going to open that up. Mountain open. And there's our Hearthstone folder. Now, what we want to do is we just want to transfer this over to the Steam Deck. So uh, you can just go open up a new tab or, or go home or copy this. So I'll just right click that. And then we'll go down to copy. You can move it, whatever you want to do. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is going to go to this tab. It'd probably be better if I did it this way. So I'm going to go to the Home tab. And then I'm going to go to where we would normally save those games. So you can go to Home, Local, Share, Steam, and then Steam Apps. All right, so this is, this is the way that I'm going to do it. Uh, into Compact Data, I'm actually going to make a folder called Blizzard, and I already have it there. Now... There's nothing in there right now, but I'm going to move that folder over here. I'll just drag and drop it right there. So move here. So that may take a while. We're going to see that load up, move over. So when this is finished, um, I'll show you how to run it. All right, so we've got our file in there. Now, what we want to make sure that we're we're looking for is actually going to be this executable file here for the game itself now it's important that we don't look for the launcher we want to bypass that so we're going to exit out of this and open up steam we'll go to our library now very similar to the past um, we're going to add a game and then add a non-steam game and then we're going to go find that executable. So browse and we'll go, go through our steps. So home deck, we're going to look for local, share. We'll go down to Steam. I'm sure this is so much easier with a actual mouse. Steam, Steam apps. All right, so we put our folder in the compat data, and then I just made a folder called Blizzard. 
So we'll go find that one. And Hearthstone. Now again, we want to make sure that we're finding that executable, so we'll change file type to all and find the actual game. So hearthstone.exe. And we'll open that. Add that program. All right, now you can load it here, but um, the way that I started playing World of Warcraft again was over in game mode, but we do need to make sure that it is compatible. So go to compatibility, force that. Now the one that I'm using, I know there's a couple newer ones, but I'm using the 731. You can test those if you want to, but I know that that one works. And then we can load it here. We'll go ahead and test it. And it's booting up in desktop mode. It's a good sign. It looks like it's updating, so it's an even better sign. At least we're getting the updates. I don't want to launch it when I start. And we'll continue. Let it do its thing. <clears throat> and then let's sign in real quick. All right, so we logged in. And one thing, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, but make sure that you click the remember me whenever you log in. It may make you do it again anyway. But we can see that it's scanning for the game. It's actually going to open up the Blizzard launcher. So um, it's skinning for the game. We saw it, so we can close this out. And then it's taking us to battle.net. Now, I will tell you that from this point, if you wanted to install any of the other games, I would definitely do that. That way you don't have to um, go through those and, and pull them from your desktop, things like that. So you can get Hearthstone or get Classic load it on there, get your battle.net running, install all your games. Um, I would recommend installing them all that you want to play from the launcher now, because if you close it out, there's no telling if you can get back into it. So make sure that you do that. And then it uh, looks like we got our update, so uh, we're good there. Oh. All right. So you can do all that whatever you want. Now, I, this is in a different folder, so it says I don't have classic, but I actually do. All right, so we'll close out of this. We've got the game loaded. We've got it updated. We'll go back into um, game mode. All right, so we see that we have our, our actual game here. Um, it's pointing to the executable for the game, not the launcher. I know that my World of Warcraft says launcher, but it's I changed the target. In desktop mode, you can change the target. Um, just go to your Steam library, go to properties, and start in the actual executable and not the launcher. So you can do that, and then you can just click on there and run the game. Um, it should already save your compatibility, so we're running that. And then we can just go in and actual play, actually play this game in game mode. And there it is. It's actually starting up. It's going through. Now, I'm not a big Hearthstone fan, so... It's logging me in. <laughs> Let it do its thing. Let me go down here and click play.
All right, and there it is. So we're actually in the game. It's working. It's running. Blah blah blah. Now again, I, I'm not I'm not a big Hearthstone fan. I'm just showing you that we can do it with a game that I didn't already have. So let me show you real quick. Um. All right, so let's exit the game. And I'll show you real quick. All right, so let's switch back over to desktop mode real quick. And then I'll show you where to point World of Warcraft. You already have it installed. All right, so now that we're back in desktop mode, let's go back and open Steam to our library. Now, you can remove what you already have if you already have something installed there. Or what you can do is like World of Warcraft, say you've already got it already ready to go you can just change the location all right so you can go and click your manage properties and then you just want to point this in the right direction so go to your browse and wherever that is now let's say that you you already had it loaded you should already be in the file see mine was pointing here anyway it was just pointing to the launcher what you want to do is you want to find the actual game. So, uh, like mine is WoW Classic. <clears throat> you just want to point it to that that get that executable for the game. More than likely, where yours is, let's say that you already were in it. Um, you went to the program files eighty six, and you went to World of Warcraft. More than likely you are pointing to this launcher right here. But what you want to do is you actually want to find the game itself. So, like mine <clears throat> is classic. If it was retail, it would be, it'd be that one. Um, so we'll just open that file up. And actually what you're going to find is the game is in here. So here's WoW Classic Executable. That's the actual game that you want to run. So you just want to open that up. And then go back and you can run it from here again you want to make sure that it's in cat compatibility mode again i'm using the 31 proton ge 31 this is the one i'm using <clears throat> and i already know this works so i'm just going to close it out you can test it here you can run it make it update do all its things like we did for hearthstone but i'm just going to go right back into gaming mode All right, and then we'll just run this. All right, and there it is. So we just need to log in. All right, and we are connecting. So there it is. We're back in. Um, now, unfortunately, you will have to change all of your controls again. So if you were already running this, make sure that you go and change those in Steam. Again, let me just show you real quick. You go to Steam and then go to your controller settings. Click on controller settings. And then uh, either load your, your, your layout or you can click edit and then edit all of these to be what you want so I've got my my a is my space key um, I'll just show you real quick the way that I use my controls is actually I use the right one as the joystick mouse and then when I touch it it right mouse clicks so just laying my thumb on there will right mouse click um, I've also got my left joystick is the directional pad and so this one is WASD when I move around and the touch is the left mouse click. So when I put my, both my thumbs on the joystick, he walks forward. So again, you can do all of that. I mean, make your triggers, you know, if you want it like mine, I've got my left one is, is shift so I can throw more commands out there, play around with it. However you want to do that. Uh, my left bumper or L4 on the back is my escape key. So I can close things out quick. So, it's working perfect. It's working fine, just like before. 
Um, just make sure that you point to the game directly and not the battle.net launcher. Um, we're just trying to bypass that because the battle.net launcher is actually what is causing the issue. So we'll just run the game instead. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope this works for you. Let me know if, if you have any questions or if there's any way that I can help you do this. So uh, I'll get back to you as fast as I can. All right. Thank you all. Peace.